August 20th. Digging wells. He removed from thence, and digged another well, and he called the name of it Rehoboth, and he said, For now the Lord hath made room for us, and we shall be fruitful in the land. Genesis 26-22 Isaac seems to be rather a disappointing character, and we sometimes wonder that he should be classed with Abraham, the father of all who believe, and Jacob, who prevailed with the angel and became a prince. He was passive, quiet, given to thoughtful meditation. God's purpose includes all sorts and types of men, and Isaac dug wells of which men have drunk for thousands of years. He was constantly pursued by enmity, jealousy, and strife, as the names of his wells attest. But each time he consistently retired from the conflict, and yielded his well to dig another. Finally, his enemies had to confess that he was mightier than they. Best of all, God appeared to him the same night, and promised that he would be with him and bless him. Let us learn to sublimate our resistance to evil, and lift it from the physical to the moral and spiritual level. He that is slow to anger is better than the mighty. Go on digging wells the wells of family prayer, of love for the Bible, of holy exercises and habits. You will find spring water. That is God's side of your life. You are called to dig wells, but God's Holy Spirit will rise up in your soul, and in the souls of others, like the geyser springs in Arctic regions. Let us present to Him ourselves our souls and bodies, to be the wells and channels, along and through which His eternal Godhead and power, arising from the fathomless depths of His own nature, may reach this thirsty and parched world. God is love, love is self-giving, but God depends on the cooperation of us, the well diggers, to make outlets for the outflow of His love and goodness. Prayer Most Merciful Father Give us grace that we may never be drawn to do anything that may dishonor thy name, but may persevere in all good purposes, and in thy holy service, unto our lives' end. Amen.